everyone. Um, after years of just watching uh, project videos on YouTube and uh, recently came up with a, a really cool idea I want to get started on and I thought well it's about time I make my own video so I'm going to start with this one. Um, my idea is uh, based off of um, American Speedster PVC cart. Um, I had uh, I ordered their plans and um, I got them really quick. Uh, good communication with that site, but um, I was, it really wasn't happy with their plans. It just seemed kind of, um, I don't know, hokey. Uh, not that my design is any better, but um, I just decided to make a, a PVC buggy uh, based on that, but uh, about the size of a golf cart, maybe a little smaller, and to be as comfortable as a golf cart. Because uh, when I moved down here in uh, League City, Texas, um, everyone in my neighborhood has a golf cart, just about, except for me. And I, I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm notoriously cheap, so I decided to build my own buggy. And uh, I thought steel originally, but why not PVC? It's a cool factor. And a buddy of mine said, uh, you got to do it. My dad said, I got to do it, so I'm going to do it. Um, I'm using inch and a quarter PVC. I'll, I'll show you my design here in a little bit. Um, but what I'm using are uh, there we go, furniture grade PVC and uh, this is not a plumbing connection obviously because that would be a useless plumbing connection you'd get no flow but uh, you can see it's got tapered ends um, the set for the pipe I mean how deep it goes is a little bit deeper than normal PVC um, I measured it against a couple that I have here, and I'm only a couple millimeters deeper, but that's not much. But uh, it makes it a little bit stronger. The PVC itself is like, glossy, no print. Uh, not that that matters, I'm going to paint it anyway. Um, and it's UV resistant. Uh, regular PVC um, sometimes gets brittle if it sits in the sun for a long time. This stuff doesn't. Um, and it seems pretty strong. I mean, in my test, I, I haven't been able to break one. Uh, any more than I would a normal uh, one. I haven't really stressed it enough, I guess, to tell. So, so that's one of the fittings. I mean, I got many different fittings here. Um, this is cool. This is a uh, PVC insert. This is all inch and a quarter. Um, this is an insert for casters. So it goes in the end of a fitting. Not pipe, but fitting. And you just put your caster in there. But I'm going to use it as a as a bearing holder. As a, and I'm going to mill it out here and put a bearing in there and this will go in a fitting and my axle will go through that so it, uh, so I can have lots of support and I have a bunch of these throughout. i got six of them to put in. And, you know, more, more fittings. This is another useless plumbing fitting but a good furniture fitting. It allows you to do square corners uh, easily which you can't really do neatly with uh, regular plumbing um, uh, fittings. So that's it as far as the fittings go. Um, this will be one of many. I guess this is just an introduction video, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll show you the design next. So here's the model of the PVC cart. It's roughly the same size as a golf cart. Um, the width is about the same as a golf cart but the overall length is a little bit shorter. Uh, I didn't need it to be exactly like a golf cart. The, um, the point was to make it as comfortable as riding in a golf cart. The, the distance between the floorboard, the top of the seat, you know, the, the dash to the front of the seat, that's all roughly the same. Plenty of leg room, plenty of, plenty of room for people to prop their feet up on the dash or whatnot. Um, as you can see, I got two little guys sitting in there um, there's just kind of a size reference. It's it's built for two adults uh, maximum and maybe a cooler or, or a basket or something in the back. Um, let me hide this stuff so you can see the frame and the engine. Start with the engine. little uh, mock-up of the engine I want to use. Let me zoom in a little bit more for that. There we go. It's a 110cc engine. Um, I think it's going to be plenty powerful enough. I, I have the I bought a little um, Chinese four wheeler uh, with a 110 cc engine off of Craigslist for a hundred bucks, and and I've had two adults on the thing, and the engine is plenty powerful enough to haul us around, and that has a top speed of about 30 miles an hour or so. And this cart, uh, the top speed I want out of this is roughly 20, 
25 miles an hour. And with the, the right gear ratio, I think I can, I can get a good balance of torque and speed because I don't want to be going too fast and it's just a little neighborhood cruiser. Um, the frame, uh, you can see little models of my fittings here. I didn't draw the, each one of these. I downloaded them off of a website called FormFit. Um, pretty good website that sells these fittings and they also offer the, the SketchUp model library so you can import it into SketchUp and actually play around and make your design. Um, the strength of the frame, let me zoom out, uh, it's kind of like a box frame style or and um, I think that'll hold. I mean the way I got this design with inch and a quarter PVC it's gonna be strong enough for for two people but what I'm gonna do is on the bottom here um, you can see these three connector where these three connect here these pipes run all the way from front to back of the cart so I, I learned from American Speedster plans that I got that the the inch and a quarter PVC pipe um, is is perfect for uh, the, the top rail of a chain link fence it fits perfect in there with no play and those are steel so I'll have basically three steel pipes running along the length of the sink for the bottom uh, for my strength and I think that'll that'll be plenty um, the skin let me put all the skin back on skin of this cart I haven't decided hundred percent what I'm going to use uh, I found some PVC um, foam core panel that might work pretty well I might use corrugated plastic you know that stuff they make um, signs and you know real estate signs and stuff like that out of I even found a, a, a product called Alumilite it's like a aluminum skin with a foam core um, you know you can bend it and do whatever you want with it it takes paint really well so that's what I might do for the skin the wheels are that I'm going to use are bicycle wheels 20 inches um, as you can see from the model let me scroll around here I'm going to do dualies in the back, um, help support the weight a little bit, and it, you know, it looks kind of cool. You know, in, in this model, it doesn't have any steering wheels or, or brakes or gas or anything like that, but, uh, but I'll get to it. Uh, I'll figure that stuff out as I go. But for now, that's it.